Hi everyone, it's Alexandria. And Michael. Welcome to Never Better Club. Today we're taking on the Death by Chocolate Prima Tali Chug. Do you think it will taste like chocolate? So today we're taking on the Death by Chocolate Prima Tali Chug. Quite excited. Michael is very excited. I love taking on new hot sauce chugs. Yes. He said this is all he wanted for his birthday. And here we are. Here we are. Here I am. It's a couple days past my birthday, but hey, we're doing it anyway. Yeah, it's still your <laughs> birthday week. So what do we have here? Let's open and, it up. Okay, we've got a box. Yeah. A very nicely packed gift box. And I can see that we have, mm -hmm. unlike other challenges, we've got a couple shot glasses provided to us. It's kind of nice. Um, this is actually a two-player challenge. Michael and I will be completing the whole thing by ourselves. So this is the Chocolate Prima Tali Hot Sauce by Harvest 912. And we are going to drink the whole bottle of it. Um, the Big rules bottle. are as follows. Uh, I, I can read them specifically, but I, just so you know, it's pour into one shot glass, and this is the one you would split with somebody. And uh, so I think we'll just fill both of them up for ourselves. You take the, you just consume it all, I guess. And you can drink it from the bottle as well. So we're gonna but, use the hot sauce oh, method? That's right. My apologies, because there are two different methods for this. So Michael and I are gonna do the hot shots method, which is you take one full shot, you wait three minutes, and then you do the full next shot, and then you do another three minute afterburn, and you've completed the challenge. So that awards you more points. You get four points total for doing it that way. You can also just chug the full bottle, or you can just do one shot and then share it with a friend, which I think would be cool. I, I told Michael, I'm like, we could just share one. But he was like, we could just not share yeah. one. It so comes with a pack here. Yeah, a little packed, which I, I have never, Seen somebody open this, so let's take yeah, a look at it. Here's what's in. Love the packaging. Get off! Here. Oh, it has challenge rules. Oh, yay. Pretty cool. We love that. <clears throat> we love that so much. You don't have to have your phone on you. Um, cool. So here's the challenge rules. And then it shows on here the single chug and the turbo chug. I'll just read it to you guys. Yeah. The single chug is 150 milliliter. Ch um, shot with a four minute afterburn, that's two points. The turbo chug method is the whole bottle, uh, so you would just take it straight from the bottle, uh, and that's worth three points because you only have to do one afterburn then. But we are going to do, arguably, the more difficult path, take the more difficult path here and do the hot shots method, which is one 50 milliliter with a three minute afterburn, like I said, and then the second 50 milliliter with another three minute afterburn. Uh, that's four points. Let me tell you, the reason why I love chug challenges is because it makes me nervous. Yeah. And I love that feeling, first time you get to do something, you just, ah, oh, nervous. And I don't think there's any other, uh, now I know for Legal Fire there's no Prima Tali chug other than this, but um, outside of that, this might be the only Prima Tali, like, you know, No, fun challenge. fact about me, I do like chocolate Prima Tali peppers. I think they are wonderful, tolerance-building peppers. I tell people that, and they're like, but have you ever eaten one? And like, yes, I have eaten them before. Uh, chocolate peppers are usually really floral. I still have not had a chocolate prima tal or a chocolate, yeah, chocolate prima tal. I've not had one that was overly floral. I think they're rather pleasant tasting. I don't know how it's going to come across in a sauce form because I don't. I don't think I've ever. Have you ever had a prima tal? You've never had a chocolate prima tal sauce. I've made chocolate bootless sauces for us, but I've never used our chocolate prima tallies to make sauce. I think I have just a little bit more than you. Boy, get out of town. <laughs> let's not go there. Hey, so let's read the ingredients. I'm, I will, I will. He might. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's not my fault. It, it's fine. It's not my fault. This is, I still get the same amount of points this season. It's true. Listen, there's probably, I'm not kidding. This is kind of fun. It's kind of fun. I would be so mad if he, if I had that, this one though, because <laughs> what is this? What do you think? Uh, we're talking, there's probably 10 milliliters left. Wait, am I, well, no, like not, hundred milliliters. sorry, Maybe not 10, milliliters. not even five. Yep. No. Why am I saying milliliters? 
I'm, I'm a little tired. <laughs> Anyways, there's there's like there's like one milliliter less in here, maybe. Let's read the ingredients. Let's see. We have water, vinegar, tomato, carrot, garlic, onion, lime juice, sesame oil, salt, Deathridge peppers. Jacob! Tally. We've met Jacob uh, Deathridge. Super nice guy. Yes, and his beautiful wife. And I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but they are such a lovely couple. Super nice. And uh, they grow some wonderful peppers. So that's pretty neat. I didn't. He that's, a, that's a great pieces. collaboration there. All right. So there's no time like the present. Let me. Um, did I read the official challenge rules? I'm not sure. Uh, no food or drink with your challenge. You must video your challenge without edits. All participants must read your disclaimer. The chug must be opened and poured on screen. Pour your uh, sauce into each provided cup. Consume for a shared challenge. You know, one at a time, essentially. And then after consuming. All participants show an empty mouth. That's part of the rules. And then you begin, begin your afterburn. Uh, depends on which challenge you're doing, your afterburn. And once your afterburn is complete, you're done. Cool. All right. I'll read my disclaimer first. Yeah, go, go right ahead. Hi, Michael. I'm over 18 years of age. So I have registered the Hot Sauce Part Disclaimer on the League of Fire website. In summary, I accept the League of Fire. The suppliers and manufacturers will, under no circumstances, be responsible for or liable for any claims of injury or damage arising, arising from me consuming this product or multiples thereof. I acknowledge and agree to this fact without question. All right. Hi, Alexandria. I'm over 18 years of age of sound mind and have read and understood the hot sauce product disclaimer on the League of Fire website. In summary, I accept the League of Fire, the suppliers and manufacturers will under no circumstance be responsible for or liable for any claims of injury or damage arising from me consuming this product or multiples thereof. I acknowledge and agree to this without question. All right. Um, let's do it. Yeah, let's just do it. Should get a good shake. Oh boy. Michael, please open it for me. It's very difficult to break that seal. Make sure to keep it back here. You know, I'm so afraid of opening bottles like this that are a little tight because I feel like I'm just gonna like fling it. Keep it back here, yeah. See, like, we're on screen. I definitely have more than 50 left over here, so. You know who had that too? That would be, you just got a really full bottle. It's um, Mrs. Bullcow and Uncle Bullcow. They were doing these and sharing them. And I remember Mrs. Bullcow was like, there's a little bit left in here, what do I do? And they had to like split it up between the two of them. One of the rare times in life someone might complain about having too much of something. <laughs> yeah, during a League of Fire challenge. <laughs> Why is there extra powder on this? Why is there so much sauce in this bottle? Um, where's the line? There's a line on the bottle, you say? I'm I eyeball it. Eyeball it? Yeah. Make sure you keep it back and frame. I'd there. rather do I'd rather do more than this. Alright. Not a drop to be wasted. Alright. All right, I'm ridiculous. Let's, All right, I'm so curious cheers. if it tastes like chocolate. <laughs> cheers. Mmm. Oh, wow. Ah. Uh, That's delicious. That is delicious. It does not taste like chocolate, though. Uh, it's just a joke. Wow. Yeah. I'm glad we're the ingredients. I mean, I have all that coming through. The garlic and... Well done. Yeah. You guys at Harvest. That, that is a delicious chug. Oh my gosh, it's really good. I coming from this... me! Yeah. Like, great. do you know that means something? I tell, I'm telling you that a chug tastes good. Alright, during the Tampa belt match, round one. Yeah. Round one of sauce chugs. This is the hottest one that I've ever had. Let's do this. <laughs> Tasty. It is absolutely delicious. Um, it's I'm a little a, acidic. I'm a, the, yeah, the acid is a thing. The, the acid is probably the hardest part. Yeah. Sorry about what I'm reading here. Now, uh, the garlic onion carrot, which is, I love. That's what I taste. What is your heat rating? You look like you're a 9 out of 10. I'm in pain. Um, <laughs> Sandbagger. Is it because I... <laughs> Is it because I'm achy all over, or is it because of this chug? Uh, no, okay. Let me let me be honest with you guys. My heat rating is a zero out of ten. Yeah, I was really thinking there was gonna be more heat, 
you know, I hear Primatale and I'm thinking, or Chocolate Primatale, I'm like, oh, there's going to be some heat. But No, I, I was concerned, but it's okay. I wasn't terribly concerned, though, because I, I saw someone else do it who didn't flinch too much, and I was like, oh, all right. So, but it, you never know, because people are putting on a show. We don't really like to, I mean... We don't really like to put on shows here. We're pretty honest with our heat ratings and stuff like that. But I, I, I can I, feel it kind of making its way down. I'm not sure if that's the acid, though, or the peppers. So hard, right. hard to say. But, yeah. I honestly think this would be a very tasty sauce. Do you want to get, you give, it a, in general. You give it a one? A Do sauce. you have any? No. No, zero. Right. I don't have any mouth heat. I, I feel more of the vinegar than anything. And it's yep. very telling for me if I have any mouth heat. You, well, it's funny. I have... Finding a slight cold, Michael's like, "Don't talk about your cold," but I, <laughs> but it's relevant now because I have a little bit of a drippy nose, so I feel like um, if I was actually having a reaction to this, I'd be needing to blow my nose pretty bad. But yeah, this is—I mean, more importantly than anything, this is so delicious. Very good. Yeah, I'm actually. How many of these do you think you could drink? I, Taste fatigue is a thing, you know. I, I know you get annoyed with that term quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I haven't going. taken a, well, I was going to say I haven't taken a chart record, but I, I do have a record for 50 gender ones, so you know, I, I probably feel, could do a number of these. I And this is where I always feel, I feel a little bit of like tingling on my lips, maybe. I'm going to pour my other half, by the way. Honestly, it. it's the, the vinegar that I think would probably... Yeah, the vinegar. Right, the vinegar. Vinegar and, and high amounts is actually pretty dangerous. Um, that's, I feel like that's what I'm feeling, too. It's the vinegar. It's a little like the... Yep, see? See, everyone? I have just a little bit more than Alexander. You, you do. Don't wait. Just. Yeah, I think I'm just going to shoot. I have a little bit left in here, too, to be fair. Like, um, these are these are filled nice and full. <laughs> Thanks, Harvest. All right, yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. There we go. Dang. This is delicious. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, you know, gosh, I really do enjoy that. I, I feel like this would be fun, you know, kind of like a, um, like a healthcare shot. Like it's just- Like a kombucha shot? Yeah, it's just kind of like a tasty, like soup tasty shot yeah actually warm it's it kind of like it's yeah it's kind of like the i make you know soup with super hot peppers in it that'll blend in and um i've got a little bit of moisture but uh yeah interesting <clears throat> once again i'm not disappointed there are other ingredients in there but i'm not disappointed by the chocolate pretty much holly pepper i um I don't know. I kind of have like this special place in my heart for it because it is so hot and it's such a gnarly and scary looking pepper and it doesn't scare me at all. Like I love them. I think they're so cool and I love the heat from them because I can personally get through a whole pepper because it's such an intense building heat and you really don't feel much. And even for the first 60 seconds, you don't feel too much with those chocolate cream tallies, but you sit there and it's a it's the most intense ramping effect because it's almost like you're drinking you would it's you get the same effect as if you drink a glass of water or drink a glass of milk while you're eating one you um start salivating profusely and you keep salivating salivating and your mouth becomes full of liquid and it keeps um accelerating the burn so and then it just gets higher and higher and it, you know probably about like 4 or 5 minutes afterwards is when you experience, well, maybe not five, maybe like three minutes afterwards is when you experience a full burn of one mm -hmm. of those premium collies. But uh, yeah, I think the red ones I even don't like as much as the chocolates. And I like golden cream collies as well. I think those are two of my favorite peppers, really, for, for what they are and for what they do. I like tolerance building peppers. And on the other end of the spectrum, I like, um, I really love pods that are delicious tasting but not too flavorful that have a little bit of sweetness or something to them but they're not too like fruity or flowery or anything like that because i, I prefer heat 
uh, rather than taste with peppers. One, one of our favorite things is going to get like a sub from a sub shop. Yeah. And then taking super hots, slicing them up and putting it in the sub. I put all really the three batalis in my sub. So. Yeah. <laughs> I can't eat a sub without super hots now. Yeah, I, I did that for you. I, I got you hooked on that. Otherwise, it's Michael, just kind of boring. Yeah. Um, I, I said... You want some super hot peppers? Or what, I don't even know if they were super hot. They were like blends, like some phenotypes. The, the best way <sighs> to eat peppers um, in a non-competitive you know, setting really is just kind of working into your food. It really brings your food to life. It, it does. And I, inadvertently, you know, you can building tolerance then too. So it's and, a and good you, way you know, to get your foot in the door. So less chance cramping when you're working it into... Absolutely. As long as you don't start your meal with those super hot bites of peppers. Like say you have an empty stomach and you put a bunch of pre natalis on a sandwich or something. And then you like <laughs> those first few bites, like you will cramp from that. Uh, I will. And Michael always does. He says, Oh, I just poured. What is it? The, the primo army sauce. He, he'll say, I poured it all over my food. And he's like, Oh, my stomach feels so upside down right now. I'm like, so, Michael, what'd you eat before that? He's like, nothing. I had an empty stomach. I'm like, so I do, I do a lot of, <laughs> of fasting, like 16 to 20 hour fasts. And I forget you're going to break a fast and you, you're just so eager, you know, to eat, put a bunch of, you know, Prima Army hot sauce all over it. You're like, Oh, my stomach. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, a little bit of prep goes a long way. So. It does. Well, this was a wonderful challenge. Um, I actually highly recommend this yep. one. I think that, yeah, this is awesome. I really don't, you know, Michael and I have have built higher tolerance, and I don't feel comfortable saying that this is a beginner challenge, especially because of the volume. If you're going to consume a whole one of these containers, um, and I don't, I don't want to discount it like that. I I don't think it necessarily is. Um, I would definitely do this before a killer queen. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a good thing to say too, and the taste, regardless of whether you're worried about heat or not, is phenomenal. It is one of the, the tastiest League of Fire challenges I've ever done. I that, agree with that. I think that's a really big deal coming from me, if you guys know me. You, you know, like really good. It is so delicious. And um even though it might like slightly trigger my gag reflex, I would do another right now. Like if I if I had one in front of me. Oh yeah, this is definitely great for multiples. Because um I'll do multiples. Yeah, it's it's a it's a wonderful show. Yeah, it's really good. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate you all. And we just are so thankful for everyone who watches our videos and for everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We will be at a thousand followers before you know it. That's kind of a time marker for this video. We are looking forward to that point and Michael and I need to discuss what are we going to do for our subscribers when we reach 1000 of you? How do we show you how thankful we are? If you have any recommendations of videos we should make or things you really want to see us do, even if it's like kind of silly or fun, tell us in the comments. Like, what do you think would be a crazy video for Michael and I to do together to celebrate 1,000 followers when we reach that point? We have had some suggestions, um, maybe a live q and I would love a live Q&A with you guys. But if you I have really any other ideas, you. feel free to leave a comment. And, yeah. You know, well. I, I'd love to get to know some of our subscribers better too, especially people who have been really... Um, you know, excited to watch us grow and continue on this pepper eating and challenge uh, consuming journey. So uh, I really like the idea of that, but maybe during the live, we can do something else, like eat some specific peppers or whatever. You tell me in the comments. So let us know and we will see you guys very soon in upcoming videos. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a great day. All right. Bye. bye. Hi everyone. It's Alexandria and Michael. <laughs> Welcome to Never Better Club. <laughs> Alexandria. <laughs> By chocolate. Premonition. <laughs> Do you think it will taste like chocolate? <laughs>